Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we're doing a reading for Aries. Oh yeah. So we're going to have a look at your character of your person. We're going to look at how you might meet them, if you haven't met them already, how they feel about you after meeting you, what their action is towards this union, any outside influences, the outcome, and we'll look at the intuition, yours and theirs, on the bottom of the deck. So, we're going to start first off with the character of your person. We're going to look at the element, the zodiac, the planet, and the number. They all mean something, so we're going to have a look and see what comes in for Aries, please. Now, you might already be with your person. This might ring true of who your person is. And if it's somebody else, this may not be a reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. You know how you feel about your person. If you feel you have someone else new coming in for you, then maybe this is your reading. I mean, you have to kind of discern. If you're looking at someone new um, coming in and you're not planning to be with your person anymore, then, I mean, this very well could be your reading. So, like, take how it resonates for you, okay? And leave the rest behind. All right, let's see. Oh. I'm not taking all those cards because I'm only looking for one or two cards, not five. So let's see for Aries, please. Give me a card for Aries, please. Thank you. Well, we still got three, so I only read them in the upright. Oh, we got four. Wow. Okay. And I'm kind of getting um this one, this one, this one, and then this one. It's kind of giving me a bit of a story here. I'm feeling like um, somebody maybe had an encounter with somebody that was not good for them. They're kind of re-looking at their life. They're only holding one of the wands. So I feel like they might be leaving this person behind as they are planning to make a move here. Now, I feel like whatever they're going to do, they're going to get a victory or they're wanting a victory, possibly with you, if you are this hermit. Now, this also could be them going into hermit because they know their plan, what they're going to do. They're going to get a victory with you, but they have to do some healing due to whoever hurt them here. Now, with the Seven of Swords, this is looking at the number seven, maybe reflecting on a journey, assessing it and analyzing it in order to move ahead. So this person is definitely looking at maybe some of the people around them that may not be good for them and leaving them behind. They're planning something, healing it as well. I mean, this is beautiful that they're doing that. Now, I would have a look at these numbers, seven, two, six, nine, for your angel um, messages online through Google. And I would put spiritual messages and love in there if you're looking for how this will, whatever message it is from your ancestors, angels, and spirit guides that they might be trying to convey with these numbers. It might be a message straight for you, Aries. Definitely going within and healing whatever this is. I feel like this person is really looking at how their life is, how dark it is without, um, I'm getting while they were with this person or around this person and their, their days are brighter here as they are um, getting away from this person and moving forward. I feel like, um, this going within, I, I feel like they're having to be on their own. They may be moved away from these people or uh, are staying within their four walls of not wanting to really deal with too many people, trying to deal with their own energy and deciding what they're going to do. Now, seven of swords here. I'm kind of getting an Aquarius here. This might be their moon sign. This may be their sun sign. Uh, we have a lot of wands and uh, swords here. And then, of course, with the hermit, that's a Virgo, that's Earth. So they may have a lot of swords and fire, air, 
fire and earth in their chart. What's on the bottom of the deck? Ooh, Knight of Pentacles. Definitely taking a while to get here. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving. There is hardly moving at all when it comes to bringing in this big offer for you. Now, with that Knight of Pentacles, this is somebody that is very... Um, already knows how to grow that money. They already know the lay of the land. They already know how to make that money already. They're very hardworking and they're productive, right? So they may have a routine or they're very practical about what they're doing. Realistic is kind of what I'm getting, especially with an earth sign. Earth signs are Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. And because we have the Hermit here, I'm really getting um, Virgo energy. Now, this is being alone, having the patience. This may be learning about patience, um, which is one of the hardest ones to learn. Um, being alone and gaining that self-love, that soul searching and going within to let go of the hurt that they've had building up and pulling with them into every relationship that they've probably been in. So they're knowing to do the work here. I really like that. No. <laughs> um, so we got the, we got the element, which is the swords, which is air. We have the zodiac, which is Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. We have the planet, which is the moon sign here for that particular card, and the number, which is number seven. So those may all be of significance of when it comes to your person. Now let's see, how are you going to meet this person if you haven't met them already? How are you going to meet this person if you haven't met them already? Let's see. Wow, unexpected income. You might want to have a look at one of my collective readings. That first card came out. Oh, we have Thief here, though. So somebody here is, uh, could be the Seven of Swords, has maybe been trying to swindle you out of your income that you've had going on here. Maybe having something to do with your work, where you work. Uh, you might work with this person and they do the same occupation here. We have number seven showing up here again. We have number nine and we have number six. Now with number six here, we're kind of getting into that balance and trying to restore your peace. And I feel like this is right where you're going from here. With the two of wands, I mean, you're really planning things out here. You're wanting that, it's kind of like that individual success. Um, which direction do I go? Am I going to go to greener pastures here and move on from these people? Um, am I going to stay? Am I dissatisfied where I'm at? Like really planning and making plans to move forward here. Now with this thief here on the six here, this is like really looking at things. Now this person might have that, um, I feel like that family oriented. I feel like the thief here though is is kind of counting on that. Maybe playing through that. Maybe it's a family member. This could be knowing that you have responsibilities. Um, I feel like they they may have been taking you for or taking advantage of you for a while. Yeah. This may be that you find out that this person's doing this in the distant horizon here. Yeah. You're getting more unexpected income coming through. And I feel like this person is going to try it again, uh, maybe to take from you. This is from your wish fulfillment. These may be things you've been manifesting as more income coming in or your business is doing well or you're, you maybe get a promotion more than once in a year. Wow, look at the love. You're looking for love, or your person's looking for love as well. With the number six, wanting that balance, that heart chakra getting opening up here. Now, I feel like this person is really looking for a really great love. Now, 
this may be um i'm getting um whatever this person does for an occupation here i feel like whoever this thief is knows your person now they're not going to realize it until i feel this next part where the next income part comes in and then i feel like they're going to try to either steal the money the love or something from you maybe even the job they might be jealous of the job here that you have maybe um are under you or your person maybe you know this person through work there's definitely love coming through here might be at a park that you meet them could be when you take a flight i kind of feel like um maybe has something to do with the sewing industry fabric kind of feeling like this person maybe the seven of swords here tell me about the love between the two of you how you how they feel about you after meeting you how do they feel about after meeting you best friend oh nice so they're looking for a best friend to have like somebody they can really share their world with and somebody that they're gonna really be good friends with best friends oh they want to maybe take you on a holiday this could be one of your best friends Oh, when you go on that holiday, maybe you pick up mementos of your time away on this holiday uh, to remind you of the experience or the memories. Mm. Third party is here. So whoever the Seven of Wands is, is still here in their, it's all about money for this person. Now, it has to do with love because um, with the third party part of it. I feel because it's having to do with wish fulfillment, we have nine, six, seven, nine, nine. So nine, nine, nine might even be a thing here. We also have six as well. And we have six here. So six, six, and then a seven, and then um, three nines. So, wow. Oh. Six, six, seven, and three nines. Wow, okay. Anyways, there is a third party, and they are just there for the money. We have guided steps to great love. I feel like they're being guided towards you. Now, whether it's on this holiday they meet you, yeah, they're really going to like being around you. They're going to feel like they're having a lot of fun with you. I feel like this person may have taken this third party on this vacation or went without this person and meets you. So let's just see freedom. Yeah. So they leave this person behind, I feel like, and that's when they meet you. <laughs> ah, yeah. I feel like they're realizing that whoever this thief is is just a disguise for who they truly are because they're really realizing what love should look like through you you're giving them a good dose of what a healthy relationship is going to look like versus what they're in now if they are indeed with somebody they may tell you that as well and maybe that's why you become friends best friends and then it becomes more than that i feel <laughs> opening to love i can't make it up so things start to evolve coming into power i step into my power boldly and confidently i feel like you feel on cloud nine like you're so powerful in this love it's just such a powerful love between the two 
emerging into grace i open my soul to grace i feel like you really open up to this person you really become really good friends in this time that this person is on holidays maybe be where you live or maybe you're both on holidays and meet up at a tropical spot um letting go i surrender jealousy oh sorry <laughs> I surrender, I surrender joyously <laughs> to the ebbing and flow of life. Now, I really did pick up on jealousy, and that may be coming from this thief, this person that is treating this person bad, your person bad. So, however they're treating them, you're really showing them what that real love looks like. You're proceeding softly. My inner power grows into moments of quietude so i feel like perhaps needing to let this person go to have them go back to wherever they live to maybe break up with this person exceeding expectations i soar into excellence i feel like you feel really good about this person i feel like you're expecting them to break it off so let's see if the outside influence has anything to say about this or how they might react to this whoa healing so this may be your person is starting to heal from this third party while they're with you now as they go home yeah they may realize they're in love with you they're paying attention to these signs here or how it's meant to be how it's supposed to look like what love is supposed to look like they may be dreaming about you and they may feel like it was a wild ride just so much fun to be with you it was pretty wild uh, i feel like they love your energy here they're definitely uh putting an end to whatever disguise this person has and i feel like they're going to call them out when they get home there's a lot of tens here we have 10 10 we have three three and we have six so definitely and eight so uh, they may be procrastinating about breaking up here maybe this person has a significance in their life um Let's see what the outcome turns out to be like here. Tell me about the outcome. Why is there procrastination here? And that's to do with um, taking action towards something, achieving something, or making certain moves, or seeing something. It may take a bit longer to see these signs. Ah, inspiration. They may see you as that inspiration, that inner glow coming through. You're definitely, I feel like you're really open to this. I feel like your person is too, to tell you the truth. Yeah, they might be getting, oh uh, yeah, there's healing and again here. So they might be healing from this breakup. I feel like they're going to. Um, definitely once this 1010 is here, I feel like they really do feel a lot of love towards you. They know what this person's like. And I feel like they're dreaming about you needing to heal something here afterwards i feel like i feel like the spirit guides are trying to inspire this person to get out of this procrastination energy and to heal afterwards uh once getting yeah giving them the courage to uh, move forward here and make those moves what are they thinking about? Ah, the clarity. I feel like they're thinking about all the clarity, the signs that they're getting, and just what they were looking for when it comes to love. And I feel like they might be getting a real clear picture here. Let's see. Tell me what else for the outcome for Aries. Let's see. Grieving. Okay. So this person. I feel like they're going to, uh, this thief here might be grieving the loss of your person. And I feel like this might be <laughs> wearing on your person here. That might be why there's procrastination here. 
uh, giving them the compassion and the benefit of the doubt I'm getting. And this may be trying to get your person to pull them back in. Uh, they might say that they're pregnant with this person's child. Um, yeah, once they get back from traveling with you. So that might be a surprise as they um, get back, try to break up and heal, getting the courage to do that. This person is going to play on their heartstrings and cry and compassion and then tell them that they're pregnant. So especially once they get back from traveling with you. Wow. Now, this is definitely not something I was expecting to see here, Aries. So, wow. Now, you might be getting some clear picture about this or your person is about maybe that this may not be true. Let's see here. Let's crack the deck. Hmm. Peace. Okay. I feel like they're going to have a peace of mind uh, fairly quickly. A spirit might be trying to get them to see and read between the lines and see what they're really doing. I feel like they kind of know what they're like, that they're putting on this baloney type of act. And I feel like they see that with the signs. Yeah, boundaries. I feel like your person's going to put some boundaries in place. Okay, if you're pregnant, then uh, I'll just be the co-parent. We're just going to co-parent. We're not going to be together. And this is going to blow this out of the water for this person. I feel like the boundaries of this. Um, now, you may have said something to this person about them trying to keep them. And perhaps they, you said something about them getting pregnant and playing that card. And I feel like when they hear this from this person, their ex, <laughs> I feel like they're going to think of you and how to put those boundaries in place. Oh, if that's the case, well, we're still not getting together, um, but I will be a father to the baby. I met my person while I was away on holidays. <laughs> they may have, you may have even spoke with their person about what this person might try to pull in order to keep them and uh, try to keep them under this ruse is what I'm getting. So let's just have a quick look. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles here. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. So definitely wanting to talk with you. And I feel like, um, <laughs> yeah. They know there's happiness coming uh, up here because of what's gone on between these two already to know that they needed to walk away. They're planning on walking away and having some type of victory already and did some healing on this already. And then finding out that they were just taking money, I feel they know about this disguise. So this is kind of knowing their happiness is on the line, but they're not happy with this person and wanting to talk with this person about uh, ending things or that they're, they're entitled to some type of happiness. And when it comes to love, they're hoping to find somebody here. What about the lovers? Hermit. So I only read these in upright, by the way, uh, when it comes to, especially if it's a reading, a personal reading. So Hermit, uh, definitely taking the time to go within, and I feel like this is when they realize this. Definitely doing more, not having access to the thief. The thief doesn't have access to your person. Tell me about the disguise. Yeah, look at that. I can't make it up. That disguise there is definitely from your pers from their person. I feel like this is that shady ass behavior that's going on. Let's see, exceeding expectations. Tell me about that. Ah, justice. <laughs> I feel like um, karmic debts are being paid here. Your person, once they take actions towards you with love for this union, they've got the freedom because they've already broken up with this person somewhere in here. 
and um, not giving them access, learning about you, taking action towards you, they're going to get dharma for making the right choice. I feel like this was a test and your person has uh, definitely passed the test. Now, the fact that they come back, they're paying attention to that they're in love with you. They're healing. There's still maybe healing, paying attention to the signs of this person, dreaming about you, feeling this is wild um, with the procrastination here. I'm kind of getting that um, this person might be trying to get them, uh, trying to win them over in a sense of trying to get them back, um, trying to put things off. I'm getting... Tell me about the procrastination. Ah, Knight of Wands. Yeah, wanting to come in, uh, maybe trying to get them in for sex, like a here for a good time, not a long time kind of energy. So trying to get them to uh, rethink things. I'm not taking all that. Thank you, Spirit. Now tell me about the peace, the boundaries, and the psychic abilities. Oh, thinking about King of Pentacles from the past. So you may be showing up as the King of Pentacles. Maybe you have your own business. Maybe um, you have your own income coming in. Maybe this person helps you with your business or there's some type of advisor or coach. And I feel like you definitely um, bring peace in their life here. What about the boundaries? Tell me about the boundaries. I feel like you helped them with this. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like uh, whatever this was, that this person's putting an end to it. It's final uh, nail in the coffin here, and they're putting it to rest. And I feel like with that number 10 here, definitely um, putting their boundaries in place. And whatever they had with this other person, they're pretty clear on it. They're thinking how clear it is uh, that it's done with. Now, the psychic abilities, they may see that in you. You may have said something about what this person might try to do. You may have foreseen it. Yeah, look at that. I feel like um, they may have known. I feel like your person's going to tell them how uh, they're in love with you and that they've already given you a pentacle here with the Knight of Pentacles coming through again. So I feel like it's a long time coming, but that you are gifted and that uh, they've already given their heart to someone else. And I feel like this is really going to <laughs> upset this person, but they're putting their boundaries in place. And even if they say they're pregnant with this person's um, baby, I feel like your person's just gonna say, okay, well, well then we'll co-parent, show me the proof that you're even pregnant and I want a DNA test kind of thing, so. And I mean, rightfully so, it may not even be this person's child. So you never know, he was away traveling, right? So let's see. What's intuition saying about you? What is their intuition saying about you? Ah, oh, Ace of Cups. <laughs> so they're definitely in love with you. They feel like you are a blessing in disguise. I feel like <laughs> maybe that disguise there, but uh the blessing and that you know that you are who you are and they see you for who you are i feel like they really love who you are so let's see about what your person feels about this third party ah tower that this third party needs to learn a lesson once again um i feel like this is maybe a divorce if they were married so this is definitely refusing to be with this person. So, and <laughs> how do you feel about your person? Wow, they're emotionally available. So that's beautiful. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. King of Cups. I like it. So there you have it. My goodness. Wow, that's beautiful. I like that a lot. So... 
Anyhow, this is what I have for you. So please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe if you haven't done so already. If you'd like to donate, you can do on the PayPal account in the description box below or the super thanks or just watching the videos. I appreciate you all, of course, and that I love you all for helping support the channel. You guys are awesome. So I also have an announcement about the first, which is tomorrow about getting on the community tab and finding out how you can win my free reading giveaway. I give away one free reading worth $100 via email to a lucky winner who wants to have a look on how to win and just taking what I put in that um, on the community tab, I'll have a little blurb that you get to just copy and paste it into the full moon of last month's videos. So find that video and put it into the comment section of the full moon of last month, which would be March. So put it into March's um, video there and I will roll the dice and pick my winner. And then we will give you your free reading. So I will contact you with that, I will be posting it also on the community tab to see who won. So there you have it. So take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you next time. All right, Lita.